Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about resting membrane potential in under two minutes. First thing you need to know is that the body contains excitable tissue. Two major types, nervous tissue and muscle tissue. Now, excitable tissue means it has the ability to do something, the potential to do something. So muscle tissue has the potential to contract, nervous tissue has the potential to send electrical signals. Now, this potential, all lies at the cell. So I've drawn up an excitable cell here. First thing you can see is that there's a distribution of ions, both inside and outside. Ions are either positively or negatively charged atoms or elements. And I've drawn up two that are important for arresting membrane potential. That's positive sodium and positive potassium. Now, embedded in the walls of nearly all the cells of our body, especially the excitable cells, are pumps. These pumps use ATP. And what they do is they use ATP to throw three positive sodium outside the cell, and at the same time, throw two positive potassium inside the cell. Now what you can see is over time, we're developing a concentration gradient where there's more sodium outside and more potassium inside. But you can also see that we're throwing three positive things outside and only two positive things inside. And what that means is it starts to be a little bit more positive outside the cell compared to inside the cell. Or you could say the inside becomes a little bit more negative compared to the outside. And this negative difference is around about negative five millivolts. Now you can also see because we're developing a concentration gradient where there's more potassium inside compared to outside, if you have a channel like this one, for example, that has its door open, it's a leaky potassium channel. Potassium wants to go down its concentration gradient, potassium leaks out taking its positive charge with it. So it's making the outside even more positive compared to the inside. And that charge difference goes from negative five millivolts to around about negative 70 to negative 90. Now there's a potential for change. We can change the charge or we can change the concentration. And this is the resting membrane potential.